Hi, this is Taj. This is Coco. And I'm Lily. And, and we're, we're SWV. SWV. And you're watching Frequency News TV. You're watching Frequency News TV. We are definitely that group that a lot of the young girls can relate to. We've been dogged, we've been beat up. <laughs> We've stayed, been, true, we've stayed I mean, true to ourselves. Yeah, People that we grew up with, they see us, they're like, wow, you're still the same person you I are. think we were the first group that actually looked like us. Like, we looked like yeah. people that was next, that lived next door to us, oh, the yeah. kids that lived next door. And that was our reality, purpose. Right? <laughs> that was our purpose. People call it ghetto, but whatever. New York City. Because of the ghetto and where I'm from in the Bronx, I am who I am today. I'm still the same person. I would bite your head off back then. I'll still do it now. <laughs> I like to have fun. So when they see us, it's like, oh, they think crazy. They like to have fun. One of the things that makes SWB work is respect and communication. And we know how we all are. And it's OK to not like something that I did. It's OK to not like something that she did. But it's cool. We know how to deal with it. It's all about respect at the end of the day. The first run was so new to us that we weren't prepared for it. When we recorded that album, we were just happy. Teenagers, happy to be in the <laughs> studio. And we just wanted to get out there and perform and show everybody what we could do. We never in a million years expected our songs to be legendary. Of course, you want them to be. But we had no idea yeah, it would no. be. And that feeling just, it was, it's amazing. So when you take a break, sometimes you lose the magic of what happened and you kind of put it in your memory because you think people don't care or don't know anymore. But once you're back out there, you realize they were just waiting on you. But who knew? <laughs> We're very emotional about what we do and how people treat us. And sometimes when you take a break, it seems as if people forget about you. And it's easy to look down and say, we're starting from scratch. But then you tour, and people are coming from everywhere, filling up venues to see you. And you realize that people actually still care about you. And that just feels so good. And I think our motivation for doing it is a lot different. We don't do it for the fame. We don't do it for the notoriety. We do it because we love what music does to us. This album really challenged us, but it's so beautiful, like the way it came together, really nice. Once we really got down to it, we knew as far as producers, we wanted to work with someone that was going to stick true to our sound. We knew what we wanted to sound like. We just needed to find that producer or those producers that were willing to work with us and just give us what we were looking for. So that's what we needed to do first. The foundation was strong and it flourished into a beautiful I Missed Us album. Co-Sign was just a perfect song. It was old school sound and SWV blended with this new sound. So um, we didn't want to disappoint the fans, so we thought that would be the perfect single. And you know, when they heard it, they like they knew exactly that's SWV. And that's exactly what we wanted that was to be able to identify us. We all agreed on yeah. Like we heard it. We, the first time we heard it, we were like, this okay, is it. Just, yeah. <laughs> we like different music, but we heard this and we was like, wow, this is the single right here. It just, it, it just was, you know? You just know what it is when you hear it. This album is for mature audiences, but young kids will be able to relate to it as well. The words and some of the songs will put you in places where I remember something happened this day, and it just brought me right back. It was so hard, like, <laughs> for me to, like, sing some of the stuff on this new album because I've been in, like, the craziest relationship. So it seemed like each song took me to a different relationship. This can definitely be the best years. I gave you the best years of my life, and that's just pretty self-explanatory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, we all yeah. relate to that song. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful song because you can hear the maturity out from an outcome. After somebody has broken your heart so many times, you realize that you allowed them to do it, but now that you're no longer young, dumb, and playing mm -hmm. the fool, I gave you the best years of your life, not of my life, of your life. Right. So you, you not come back. Absolutely. You was everything <laughs> to this person. It could be a relationship, a spouse, or even a best friend. Uh -huh. You know, I'm sure it's just, oh. It's a beautiful song. Yeah, it is. <laughs> when we heard all about you, 
We'd be like, ooh, like that was always us. We always was like R&B, hip hop, urban group. So when we heard certain songs, it took me back to I'm someone to you and anything video. Anything and just like, ooh, like we old, but yeah, we still got it going on. <laughs> you know, old. we can still party, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're not 20 anymore, so for us to be able to hear a song and be like, ooh, it's a good feeling. We're SWV and you're watching Frequency News TV.